Now, since we've already successfully activated OmniTiles, um, I'd like to show you a little bit about how to set up um, the, the default settings and uh, what to change and not to change. So um, basically we have this main window which you can adjust in size and, and arrange on your screen so it fits to your workflow. I prefer to do it this way but of course it's up to you how to set it up. And we have a second window which is the preview um, window. I usually set it up next to the main window um, but it's uh, really up to you how, how you use it. The thing is that uh, once you've set this up and you close OmniTiles and you reopen it will reopen the same way. So um, you can set it up once and you don't have to redo it. Now there are a few other settings for example uh, in the preferences we have some default directory paths and we have different file types that we can load um, patterns which are the patterns that I can load here the full presets um, which include patterns textures and settings which you can load from here bitmap directory where you can find the multi textures and the output directory which is the directory where you can render out the, the textures you created with OmniTiles so a pattern can be loaded here and usually you're you're seeing um, uh, this list without the thumbnails but we've implemented an option to uh, render thumbnails um, and, and save them in the file itself um, so if you click this you will see the, uh, the patterns just quickly to load one then textures is this um, manager or this dialog and if you add individual textures or scan folders um, then the, the textures folder will be opened by default the library consists of the full presets, textures, pattern files, uh, source maps, and the render output, which is currently empty. Okay, so um, that's the second, and the uh, third one is the open preset, and we're, 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 which is where you can see all the um, full presets that we have included as demo, basically, to, uh, to get started. There's another setting that you might want to change, which is the real world canvas size. This is saved together with the pattern, and the full preset and it means basically that the size of this canvas the size of this area um, can be defined and this is useful because um, depending on how you change the tiling the size of the entire bitmap or the bitmaps layers um, will change too and you see here what what the result is for example if i'm changing this to a size of one meter or foot feet um, it will say here this is one foot uh, times one foot and if I increase the tiling to five it will be five foot times five foot. Now this is um, just informational in, in uh, OmniTiles but if you render out maps you can include this information in the, the render textures and that could be used basically later on if you are loading the textures in your 3D applications to get a proper sizing of the maps. Um, so the demo itself has a limitation. Um, first of all, it's the 15, 15 day limitation. And second, we have a render output limitation to 512 times 512 pixels. But if you have the perpetual version or the subscription license, uh, this will be um, open and it will you can render up to 16K bitmaps um, with OmniTiles. So, yeah, that's the basics and um, maybe yeah I'll, I'll show you a little bit more let me just load one preset for example uh, the first one uh, we have this load dialog it's calculating preview maps and we have an iterative um, preview render to increase the size up to this the preview size that I've defined here in the settings um, I can navigate uh, rotate camera around the, this object the preview object with the left mouse button if I use the right mouse button I can zoom in and out with the most mouse wheel scroll mouse wheel I can also move, uh, zoom in and out and with the middle mouse button if you have one you can um, move the camera um, horizontally and, and vertically uh, around the, the uh, preview object you can change the preview object here um, you can we have a plane and you can load your custom your own one here and uh, you can adjust settings like the preview map size here uh, up to 4k 
and um, here you can define a custom FBX model to use, be used as a preview. You can change the uh, light type and you can change exposure, light direction and uh, the background blur and you can also use a, a dark gray for example uh, the background itself. So you can adapt this to whatever you like and um, to see how it, what works best with your texture setup. Now if you've set up your um, your first material, um, let me just load a different one, for example this basket weave, and you want to render it out as um, texture for your uh, for use in your 3D application, go to render and um, select the folder um, and define a name, like uh, basket weave for example. And I can define the output format by typing the format. I'll take it JPEG. And if I hit render now, it renders out all of the layers that are available, which are basically the ones that I've loaded in the texture manager. So in this case, I have diffuse maps, bump maps, and displacement maps. And these are, are then rendered out to there are different ones um, also being rendered, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the, these a little bit later. Yeah, that's the, the basic principle. And um, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create your first pattern. And um, yeah, that's it for now.